In the previous video, we were finally able to connect all pieces of Redux and understand its pattern. In this video, I want to walk you through another cake shop scenario and reinforce the same pattern as it is pretty much the heart of Redux. Now, what is the scenario? Well, since the first scenario is that of ordering a cake, this scenario is going to be that of restocking cakes. Every day, a vendor comes to the shop to restock the shelves. The vendor can stock up one or more number of cakes depending on the previous day sales. Pretty simple scenario, so let's go back to the editor and implement this in code. Step 1, we define the action type. The action type should describe the event that happened. In our case, cakes were restocked. So let's create a constant. Cake restocked is equal to the same string. Step 2. Use this action type to define an action creator. Function restock cake and within the function body we return an object with a property type set to cake underscore restocked. Let's also add a quantity parameter and set an additional quantity property on the action object. We didn't really use this property when ordering a cake so let's make sure to use it when restocking. Alright, for step 3, let's make sure our reducer is able to handle this action type. We're going to add a new case. Case cake underscore restocked and we return a new object. Remember, in Redux, we don't directly mutate state. So within curly braces, we spread the existing state so as to not affect other properties in the state object. We just have the one property, so it does not matter at this point in time. Now when a cake restock event has been dispatched, we want to increase the number of cakes in the store. So number of cakes is going to be the current number of cakes, so state dot number of cakes plus 1. But this will always restock only one cake. Let's change 1 to action dot quantity. This will allow us to restock with a quantity we pass in when dispatching the action. For step 4, let's do just that. Since we have ordered 3 cakes, Let's restock three cakes. So store dot dispatch call restock cake passing in quantity as three. If we now open the terminal and run node index at the very end for our restock action, you can see that the number of cakes increases from seven back to ten. Hopefully, this example has cemented the Redux pattern in your mind. One final change I would like to do at this point is rename quantity to payload. In Redux, the convention is to use a property called payload for any additional information you want to send. And this is for every action in your code base. So change quantity to payload in the action creator and the reducer. Rerun node index and we still have the same result. Now if you're still unclear about the Redux pattern, that is completely okay. It took me a long, long time to understand Redux. My advice for you is to simply re-watch these 8 videos one more time. That will definitely help you understand Redux. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.